Greetings, starseeds and lightworkers. This is Ava here, and today we are going to check in with Diana of the Pleiadian family around aura cleansing. This was a question that came up, so let's go ahead and just jump right in. Here we go. Sister Ina of the Pleiadian family, and as we always like to say, we are here to bring the love. You see, we are here to bring the love. And today, you want to know about mm, about the aura. This is so fascinating to us because mm, it is mm, it is simply an extension of your physical form of the light. It is it is just a simply a slightly less concentrated version of your light being, of your actual physical body, you see. So the, the aura is simply, mm, it's just more of your form. It's just a, a less concentrated form, field, field of the form. So mm, from that perspective, maybe we say something that is, is a little bit different because we, we focus a little bit first on what is happening in your physical form because that affects your aura, you see. That affects your aura, so the thoughts you, you choose to 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 keep in your in your in your consciousness, you see, and who you surround yourself with, and where you go, you see, and so all of these things and the 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 foods you choose to put into your body, you see, all of these things have a direct correlation to the frequency and the 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 speed of light that you are vibrating at. You see, so as you begin to eat things that are maybe lighter, like a lot of the fruits, for example, are very fast in their frequency, very high vibration, very fast. And so you eat them and and it is really mm, helpful in expanding the, the light, you see, and then it actually be, brings more light into the denser, denser portions of the body, you see. And whereas the, mm, the more dense foods, like the animal fleshes and things like this, these are foods that are more concentrated in the light. And so it is a more dense density, you see. And so that is going to concentrate the light where it will, it's like if you had a lot of layers in front mm, of, or over a lens, you would not be able to see through it, you see. So, but when you look, mm, even some fruit on, on Mother Earth, you can see it are translucent. You can see right through them. You can see the seeds in its whole state. You see, that are like, like this. You see, we just, just, we can see these in some fruits. So this is, a, this is an example of mm, what it is doing inside the body. You can always see from a fruit or a food, how is this going to be? What is it good for? You see, what shape is it? What does it look like? You see. What does it look like? It probably helps with that portion of the body. If it looks like a little mm, shaped like a kidney, for example, it, what do you think that helps with, you see? So this is these are ways that we can really begin to tune in without really knowing intellectually what it is good for. We can kind of begin to feel it out, you see, without knowing in the mind. We can feel with where is this going to help in the form, you see. So you start with the physical. Very, very important, you see. As a light worker, a star seed, this is a part you know. Deep down is the importance of what you are putting into the field, you see, on all the ways. So that when you are putting only good things into the field, consciousness, thoughts, energetics, movement, uh, uh, it, it, the sun, you know, all of these things, you're putting good things into the field, it grows the light, it grows the consciousness, it expands the consciousness, and it also creates a layer of, mm, of natural protection from the things that maybe would make it feel a little bit slimy or dirty, like mm, other just dirty energies, you see. So when you are, are constantly feeding into the light pieces, it's harder for the other stuff to stick in, you see. Unless we have a space for it. If we open up a little hole in the aura, then things can get in there, you see. And so then we work to just get the broom and brush it out, you see. So this is just a really big, good mm, overall way that we can really think about how to keep the aura clean, you see. Now, tricks for cleansing the aura. Again, maybe a little bit more unusual than, than what you are used to hearing, you see, in terms of, of the different things, you see. But what we will say is the Pleiadians love to use sound vibration, the frequency of sound, you see. Because mm, everything carries a sound frequency, and this is how we resonate into different har harmonics, on both on the earth and in the cosmos, you see. Everything has a specific sound. So when you can find and listen for these sounds, and as you begin to open up your, all of your, your chakras and all of your DNA strands, and you begin to activate in all the different ways, 
your hearing becomes much more sensitive. So things that you were not able to hear before, you begin to hear all the time, easily, you see. So this happens. So just know that you are not going crazy if you start to hear like a ringing in your ear or things like this. And we're not saying to not to go to the doctor and make sure that there's nothing actually wrong in the physical form. But we're just saying sometimes this is what it is, you see. So just, you know, being aware of, of all the ways that that consciousness plays, you see. And again, go to your doctor, you know, make sure. But we are saying, we are saying something different, you see. And this is, do you, do you know the differences here we, we were talking about? So good. So then you look and see all the different ways that the consciousness expands. We use these sound waves, you see. So it is important and you can use different, different notes for clearing different areas within the physical form. You know these as what in your world, the pija, pija. Uh, mantras you you you've heard these times before and if not we'll we'll try to type it in where you can find and learn about that a little bit so you can have these what you call seed sounds you saw seed sounds seed sounds and these are, are really mm, have come through people that have really gotten the good at the listening ears you see hearing the different seed sounds in the different areas of the form and when you know the seed sounds and you can work with these seed sounds it begins to remove the dust and the dirt and the grime and the places that are a little bit stuck. And this is also very good for opening your chakras, period, you see. So if you have something stuck in your throat, maybe you're too scared to speak your truth because you've had some traumas there or something like that, for example, you see. Then you focus on this one here in the throat and you just get really, really good. And over time, what happens is it begins to, to open and clear. And that also affects the light in that area, which is part of your aura. It's an expression of the aura. It's just in a more concentrated form when it's in the chakra place. You know, but it spreads out. It, it moves outward to so many more dimensionalities, more than you can even be aware of, you see. So this is really just the ways that, that, for, that the frequencies of light concentrate into form and the way that they expand out into consciousness. And so it is your, your ability to be consciously relating with the light. So your work is to consciously relate with the light through what you are putting in, eat more light, literally eat more light, you know, be with the sun more, you see, in a healthy way, healthy versions, be with the water more and looking at the light in the water, you see, and also being with the moons and the stars and all of the frequencies of light and consciousness and the foods that carry the light, you see, the living alive foods that carry the light frequencies, you see, these are going to really help the most quickest ways to really amplify the light in the body, you see. And then these simple ways of working with the different energetics of the, the, the sounds of the form in the most dense ways. Because when we work at the, with the bija level, what happens then is mm, it is a place where, where you can really clear in the most dense places that really need the most work, the most help is in the most dense places. So we, we would start at these levels because these are where the, the places where we hold the traumas, you see. So when we work with these sounds, it begins to help us to, to, to clear some of these places where there maybe was trauma or, or some places where there was maybe just some experiences that we need to let go of, you see, and, and, and bring into the consciousness, bring back into consciousness, you see, and to love it, bring it back into the love, because that is where it came from. You see, sometimes on the opposite end of the spectrum, so it seems a little bit confusing, like how could that come from, from the love? when it's on the other side of the spectrum, but it does, you see. And so we really are working in this way to breathe in the breath of life. So these are some simple techniques of how to cleanse the aura from the Pleiadian, Pleiadian perspective. Isn't that fun, you see? And there are others, you see, the more advanced, you see. We start the simple because mm, here is the trick and the secret. You get this right, you, 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 you ahead of 99% of people, you see. You just master the basics. You master the basics. So we do not need to go from one technique to the other, to the other, to the other. You simply stick with a couple techniques and you really get, get consistent with it, you see. And that is what is really going to, to move the needle, so to speak. This is the thing that is really going to make the big difference. So with that, we leave, we leave you with that and you really mm, use this as a way mm, to just do simple cleansing. You know, this is not for mm, major when you are having other things attached and things like this on the very deep levels. We'll, we'll do another thing about that because that is a little bit more advanced, you see. Or maybe you do a one-on-one -on -one session for something like that. But this is not the place for that, you see. This is more for 
when we mm, are around other people and we feel like we just maybe picked up a little bit of mm, just negative energy, things like this, or we're just doing a general daily cleanse. This is the best way to do it is to cleanse your aura daily. And this is a simple way, just using the Bija mantras, you see, doing the seed sounds on each of the different parts of the body, you see. And so this is a very good way to do it, you see. So without we're going to leave you, mm, a Ava really knows these, these sounds very well, so mm, we don't need to go into them. And there are also so much information on there. You could even probably find an app for it, you see, in these days. We're not sure about this, but if there is not, then one of you can go and make make all the money and, and, and make the app, you see, like this. We're joking, of course, you know. But you see, it is it is it is like that because it is really mm, well known, is what we will call, we will call it. Bija. Bija Mantra. Okay. Very good. We love you all very much. You are really doing such good work. And we know we tell you this all the time, but it is always true. So it is a very good sign that we get to keep telling you this all the time. So very good. We love you all so very, very much. Blessings. <clears throat> I, I trust that that message was exactly what you need to hear. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and share this with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And we look forward to seeing you again very soon. Blessings. <clears throat>